hello everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI brains so in this video let's see uh, how to make the backend setup I mean uh, the backend web development what is the software installation let's see uh, so here first we start with node.js so how to install a node.js and check the uh, versions of node.js and then we'll see uh, how to install TS node so TS node actually uh, it's a third party module and which is helpful for running your TypeScript program. I mean, uh, you're going to write a Node.js program in TypeScript. So to run that program, we need this extra module and we also need NodeMon. Uh, NodeMon is to restart your server automatically when the file change happens in your program. Okay, so this is required. And then uh, we have to install uh, uh, TypeScript as well. Of course, we are, running, we are writing a program in TypeScript. So TypeScript is required and Insomnia. So Insomnia and Postman both comes under the same category to test the backend API. So we're going to develop backend REST API. So to test the only backend because we don't have a front end, right? Only just backend code it's completely focused on backend. So to test the only backend API, we need to have some set of software. So one is Insomnia and Postman. You can choose either one. And then you also need to install certain editors. So either uh, VS Code or Sublime Text or Atom or Brackets or WebStorm, anything you, your, your choice. Uh, I'll be using WebStorm here and then MongoDB. So MongoDB we install a bit later when MongoDB concept is start, started. Okay, so let's start installation. So for Node.js, go to Google and this type Node.js. Okay, and when you type Node.js, yeah, uh, this is official website. Okay, and in this, uh, you have two versions, uh, 14 and 15. You can choose either one, and mostly I, I recommend this one. I recommend for most of the users. So just click on this button. It's gonna download uh, you uh, the Node.js, and uh, installation step is just regular and natural. Just double click, next, next, and finish. That's all. Okay, so. It's getting downloaded and once it is downloaded come on I think it's take some time uh, come on just a 26 MB 28 MB okay it is just uh, still finalizing the download uh, that's fine uh, you can once it is done just double click on it and click on next next and finish no special changes required so as it is I, I show you just double click once I already have the installation but uh, I just show you one more time um, come on okay it is doing some space uh, requirement so do I have a space in my C drive to install a node.js okay it's done and just click on next here uh, oh you won't get this change or repair because I already have it okay just click on change you get the that installation okay and just click on next yeah you get this wizard actually click on next uh, and I strongly recommend don't select this extra modules and all not required for us just note this is enough okay and just click on next. don't select this and click on next and then click on actually finish button you get okay so for me I'm getting a change button okay let me just click on change okay so this is installing node.js in my system okay so it is done and just click on finish okay done so once you are done with one second okay so once you're done with uh, node.js you need to check the version because you need to pretty sure that node.js has been installed in your system so what you do is just go to command prompt and type the command node space hyphen hyphen version so this will give you the node.js version and along with node.js one extra uh, you know uh, a, a small software is going to come with node.js itself that's called uh, node package manager so that is npm hyphen hyphen version so these two versions you have to check immediately after node.js installation so let me check now uh, i go to the command line or terminal uh, in mac uh, node space hyphen hyphen version enter See, I got 14.16 and this say npm hyphen hyphen version uh, you get some 6.14 that's fine super so the next step is we have to install uh, 
one second yeah so next step is we have to install a typescript so how we install a typescript is there is nothing to download from the google you just need to hit the command npm install hyphen g typescript that's all okay using command line and you can do it so npm install hyphen g hyphen g stands global okay let me copy this command go to command line and paste it enter so this is going to download and make sure before you hit this command you need to have a proper internet connection because this is going to download a typescript from google and uh, get installed for your system so it's done okay and once it is done i, I made cls okay clear screen okay so once it is done you also need to check the version of typescript using the command called tsc space hyphen hyphen version okay so tsc stands for the typescript compiler and this is going to convert your typescript program to the java c program and that's get execute on the node.js platform okay don't worry uh, you're going to get understanding of all this yeah so typescript to compile it to check the version so what i do is go to command line again tsc space hyphen hyphen version for confirmation of typescript installation press enter See, I got 4.2.3. So as the time when I'm recording this video today, version is this. Maybe after, I mean, while you are watching, maybe version will be something more than this. Okay. Uh, fine. Next. Uh, yeah, you need to install two other packages. One is TS node. So npm install hyphen g TS hyphen node. Okay, that's one thing. And one more is node mod. Okay, so these two you have to install again. Uh, TS node is for executing your type C programs, even Node.js programs. And this is for server startup, automatic server start. Okay, I, I'll tell you what the use of exactly here. Let me copy this. Go to command line, paste it, enter. So it is downloading TS node. It's done. Next, you copy this and paste it enter and make sure before hitting any command you need to have internet connection must okay because this is going to download uh, the library from google okay mm. come on it's done okay i think you can check the version also uh, i think ts node space hyphen hyphen version yes you got a version and just say node mon node mon space hyphen hyphen version you get the version of it okay fine super so we are all install these things now the next step is now the next step is we have to install um, insomnia and postman yeah these two actually uh, uh, softwares you have to download i'll tell you where you can download so for insomnia just go to google and just type insomnia desktop app okay so when I type this, here is a website, uh, insomnia.res. This is the URL and here you can find something called, um, you go to products. I think they change it. Okay, just, just select this one, insomnia. Okay, go to products and select the insomnia. And... Uh, I think you got it and where can we download okay here is the button i guess build better api okay you got uh, pricing also that's fine just click on download the free version okay just click on download that okay you got another page again download insomnia for windows or other other platform you have here uh, I'm using Windows, just click on for Windows. Long story here, right? Okay, fine, it's get download. I cancel because I already have. So once get downloaded, just double click on that and click next, next and finish, that's all. Okay, uh, fine. Next, uh, one more thing you have to install that is uh, Postman. Okay, this type Postman desktop app, uh, the official website goes to be direct download link postman.com slash downloads yep here is the windows download just click on download it will download one.exe file click on next next and finish 
uh, if you're looking for other platform you have uh, here see Mac OS or Linux okay so this is how it looks if you have installed uh, okay so fine that's all uh, and even uh, if you are looking for any editor uh, I recommend go to uh, WebStorm or VS Code okay for VS Code Visual Studio Code you can type uh, here so the website here is code.visualstudio.com and here just click on this button for download for the platform you check over here and double click next next and finish simple and this is how it looks okay and then uh, if you are looking for something called webstrom so you can just type the webstrom IDE uh, let's go to this the smartest JavaScript IDE uh, here you can just download it and you can just install it by yourself okay so fine that's all enough for this uh, setup and then uh, we'll see how to write a basic programming uh, with node.js and typescript and how to run them and how to start with actually the backend development so let's meet in the next video for all this thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you